Open Hockey 605. We're here with Alex Meyer, goalie for the Oahe Capitals for a while, right? Yeah, about 12, 13 years. And you graduated this year and are heading on, right? Yep. Okay, and I, Alex, we're happy to, that we had a chance to catch up with you here because you've been down in Sioux City doing a camp. Can you tell us a little bit about that camp? Um, well, it's a player-goalie mixed camp. It's called a goal scoring camp. It's basically goalies get to practice blocking pucks and shooters learn how to see goalies' tendencies. Mm -hmm. And I suppose as a goalie you were, you were te teach them a few of your tricks. Yeah, I got to score on some kids a little bit and teach them where they need to cover more. So, Alex, what are some of the things that you've, you know, obviously you've been playing a while um, and chose the position of goalie early on, right? Yeah, I switched. I was a skater and I switched over about mites. Okay. So that's that seems to be when a lot of people start is around that time, mites or, or uh, bantams even. Yeah, it's better to get an early start. And that way you get ahead of the other kids and figure out what you're best at. Well, and you've made some uh, a recent decision that a lot of other other hockey players are hoping they're going to have an opportunity. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Well, I, a couple weeks ago I decided to sign with the Billing Bulls in the NA3HL. And so I'll be moving down there in August 9th, I believe. That's a that's a bit of a hike from from Pier to, to Billings, right? Yeah, I'll go. I'll actually go from Bemidji to Billings. Okay. So I'm going to. I'll be traveling, doing camps for the rest of the month, and then I'll leave. I have a elite camp that I'll be doing August 4th through the 8th, and then I'll leave straight from that and go to Billings. Wow! So you're spending your summer making making a little bit of traveling money with your hockey, right? Yeah, I figured the more ice time, the better. So, how did you get this opportunity to, to be at all these camps? Ah, uh, well, I've just, since I've been young, I've been going to camps with Steve Breer, and it used to be called Breer Goalie School, and now he is running Canadian professional goalie schools, and he gave me a call and asked me what I was doing this summer, if I was looking for ice, and of course, I'm always looking for <laughs> ice, so I figured I'd come down and help him out a bit. Uh, a great opportunity to keep up with your skills and and help uh, pass it on to the young next generation. Now, you also um, have been when you first had this opportunity to to go to Billings. You you met with Coach Joe at the state tournament, right? Yep, I met with him right after our third and fourth place game. And he was one of the scouts that was there checking people out. We had a chance to visit with him and really worked out providentially for you. Yeah, he's an absolute all around great guy. I talk to him regularly, once a week, twice a week, just to check in and see how things are going. Well, it's, now it's been a while too, Alex, since you talked with him right after the state high school tournament last last uh, when was that March? Yep. Or even more. So, what has happened since then? What's the process for for other hockey players? If you can share that, how it, how it worked for you? Uh, well, it's basically you just get the exposure. You talk to teams. And if they like you, they'll try to tender you, and that just means that they want to have you commit to their team in their league, but you're still open to other leagues. Okay, so if you tender with, with a team in a league, that means you can't talk to any other teams of that league, is that right? Yep, it means no teams can have contact with you, your family, your coaches, nothing about you. And I actually tendered a month after I talked to him the first time. Okay. So when you did that, basically you were promising you weren't going to talk to any other teams in that league, but that still left you the op option to talk to other teams in different leagues, right? Yep. It just I just said that if I was going to the NA3 that I would play for him. Oh. So that was a promise, the promise ring. Now, when you go up to Billings, I, I'm sure they probably do the same things there that a lot of the other programs do with billeting. Is that how that will work for you? Yep. So do you have any idea who you'll be staying with yet? Um, I'm not sure yet. I haven't really discussed too much with him. I don't know if I'm going to get a Bill brother on the team or if I'm just going to be on my own. I'll figure that out here in less than a month. Now, you're going to be close to some really good skiing, too. Are you a skier? Mm, not really. They probably wouldn't want you skiing anyway in the middle of hockey season. That might be uh, grounds to void your contract if you got hurt skiing. 
what is your very favorite part of, of playing hockey? We've had this discussion before, but now you're going to have a little bit more retrospect looking back. What's been your favorite thing of, of your whole hockey career to this day? Mm, I'd say just having great teammates and great fan base. I mean, it's been nice playing in pier, getting the same crowd, the same the kids you go to school with come to your games and cheer you on. And now it's going to be new people, people who don't quite know you yet. A few weeks in you'll be, hopefully, if you're playing good, everyone will like you. If you're not playing good, everyone will hate you. <laughs> well, yeah, as, as a goalie, it's a, a matter of... of centimeters, isn't it, as to whether you're, you're successful or not. Now you're going to have to build up a whole new fan base. How do you go about doing that? I just do what I do every day. Just keep working hard. Keep doing the little things right and all the pieces will fall where they need to. Yeah, We're sure they will. Well, Alex, we really appreciate you taking some time to, to stop here on your way back from Sioux City on to your next venture. Um, have a little bit of time at home to see the family before you go on? Yeah, that's. I was going to just go straight to Minneapolis, and I'd be on the road for a month straight, then away from home, but I need to go home and pack up a bit and visit my family a bit and just relax. Yeah, that August 9th date's going to be here before you know it. Well, thanks again for taking some time with us at Hockey 605, Alec. Be best of luck to you as uh, you get out to Billings. You Be sure and let us know what happens out there and keep us posted, all right? Absolutely. All right. Hockey 605, we're here with Alex Meyer. Thanks for watching. Thank you. This video is brought to you by MyPlayerPage.com, the best place for athletes to showcase their information. Visit us today.